Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today I'm actually gonna go to an antique mall in St. Louis, uh, the St. Louis area. And it's one I've never been to before, but um, it's gonna be really fun. I've already went there, and I'm actually now gonna get some ice cream here at Ted Drew's Frozen Custard. It's kind of like a St. Louis mainstay. So um, it's been here for over 80 years, I believe. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now, but um, I'll come back to that at the end of the video so you can see what that's like. But first, let's go into that antique mall. Oh my gosh, look at all this PY Japan stuff and the roosters, wow. This pattern's called Roosters and Roses and I've bought it before, but this is so much of it, wow. What do you got on the clock? How much? 3,200. <laughs> well, not today. We've got a art glass birdie, what do we got here? Um, 195. Yeah, okay. Good luck. They've got a ton of it over here. <clears throat> I wonder, is this all real Murano? This thing is $55. Okay, so why is the other one so expensive? Here's these clowns. Okay, so this must be Murano, because I see these clowns often. They've got 65 on that bird. So, interesting. Okay, I've never really been around real Murano glass. I have to say, it feels like any other glass. <laughs> but there's a lot more detail and things going on. This is $30. Really pretty colors. So it feels like regular glass. It's just that there's more detail in it. That's the difference. What is this? This is also 30. That blue one. Where's a duck? Okay, they've got 155 on the duck. I'm surprised by the price differences on these things. Maybe the f maybe because it's a strange figure. And the fish, they've got 55 on this fish. That's really pretty. Really pretty. Oh, and the dog. Now that's cute. 65. Oh, wow. Look at these. $975 for the pair of them. Wow. Holy moly. Oh, this bull. That's a cool bull. <laughs> a cool bull. Uh, 75. I just spotted this black amethyst Fenton there, $17.95. Look at that. This thing is massive too. And there's the Fenton mark. And then we have another uh, credit card right. It's not one to focus. But it does have the foil sticker. And there's like a bird and flowers. That's really cool. I'm going to let it hang out right here. I'm going to leave it because I don't have to have it in my life. But that's not a bad price at all for a black glass Fenton. And it's a vase. So that's really cool. Really, really cool. And I've never seen anything like that. Here's one of these coin banks. I see them all the time. $10.90 for it. It's one of these Uncle Sam registers. It gets up to $10 and then... It'll unlock. That's misleading. It says there's eight dollars and ten cents in here, mm -hmm. and the price of the bank is ten dollars. I'm like, mm -hmm. you could just, but there's not really ten dollars in there, or eight dollars and ten cents. That'd be funny. Get it for free. Okay, come over here. What did you find? Oh, that's a cool little record. Well, it's not records. What is this? Oh, solid state. So, is this 45s or what? What do you put in here? What would you put in here? Comment down below if you know what goes on with this. Wait a minute. Let's see what it says. It says Rockola. I cannot read that at all. Look at that. 
It's gibberish. Well, anyways, how much was that? $575. Maybe it's tapes, like cassette tapes. I think it's record. You can see the spot for the records to go. Oh, it says record now playing. So probably 45s? Yeah, this is 60s, 70s. Hmm. Well, I just bought it this really cool Hazel Atlas refrigerator dish for only $6.95. So I am for sure going to buy that because I have one at home just like it. So this will make the second one. But yeah, seven bucks. So we have here this ivy leaf pattern kind of embossed on the lid and then the bottom. So these are refrigerator dishes from, from probably the 40s or the 50s. Oh, I did just notice a couple little flea bites. Oh, a couple flea bites on the inside lid ledge here. Okay, now I have to think about it. But I did see this one here for $8.95. Okay, so I was looking over this larger dish because I don't have one this large. And this is in the um, Hazel Atlas crisscross pattern in clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I think it's a pretty good price at $8.95. I think there might be a couple little flea bites around the um, edge, but I don't think that's terrible. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this guy up. That'll be really cool, I'll use that. I think we found a booth for Aaron. This one has a whole bunch of train things. So is this not the right size? I thought this was. There's a HO scale in here. There's some, O. is that what you call that O scale? H, o, yeah, that's bigger. O scale, right? Mm -hmm. And then H scale would be below HO. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. So HO is between H and O. Um, there's some of these Plasticville houses and structures. I think these are always fun. Supermarket Plasticville. Five dollars. That's not bad. But it's like so. kind of plain, really, just plastic. Hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. $20. How much did you spend on your other? Was it about the same? Uh, less. Yeah. So those are those are O scale down there. They're like larger. There's some other like little structures there too. Anything over there you catch your eye? Mm. No, not me. Me either. Mystic. This is cool. $25. It's like a little something or other. This is really cute. It's actually one of these plastic melted popcorn decorations like we see with like, you know, Christmas and Halloween, but it's of this ballerina girl and they have it marked at $5, which isn't bad. They also say Archie, it says from Archie, which I'm not sure if that's true or not, but um, for $5, I'm really thinking I'm gonna get this because I think I could sell it for at least 25 or so. But um, that's kind of cute, isn't it? It's like a dancing little decoration. I have a weakness for things like this. Little marmalade or jam type things. This one's $4.95. And this one, $3.50. Hmm. If I get this one, I have a spare spoon at home. I believe it's Japan. I mean, I'm pretty pretty certain. I think I'll buy this one. Four ninety five, so five dollars. And then I can use the spoon I have at home. I think I'll do it. It doesn't fail. Every mall that I go to, there's always a 1950s theme booth, which is kind of hilarious. So here we are with this one. Really cool stuff. I just spotted this adorable little lion figurine and it's only four dollars so i'm gonna go ahead and get it because it's very unique it's made by yukiko japan very very cute look at this blendo see how it's spiraled that's really unique the rest of them are in there only 25 dollars if you if you want those 1960s blendo very cool there's a plastic popcorn guy right here. Now this is turkey for $8 on sale. It was 11. I think I have one of those at home. 
Pepper. Don't we have one of these at home? I think we do. I don't, I don't, you wouldn't know that, but I think we do. I think we do. Oh, we, we skipped this one over here. Got some dishes. Anything? We see anything? Hmm. There's some Tupperware and a caddy. For $13. That's not bad at all. Eight tup eight tumblers with the caddy for for thirteen. What do we have? Got some different Pyrex pieces. Look at this huge buffet. This thing is massive and it has these just hunkin' doors. Wow, it's three thousand nine hundred, which actually is not terrible. I mean, if you're looking for something to fill the space, this will fill it. Wow. All right, Aaron just found a Norfolk Southern light. However, the price on there is $38, which, um, well, anyways, I'm going to get him to try to get a discount up front. They'll usually give you 10% off if you ask. Most malls will just automatically if it's over 25. Seems to be the going, right, going rate. Um, is that sticker on top supposed to be there? It looks like a sheriff sticker. What's it say? Safety ranger. Oh. It's in escrow. You're a little safety ranger. Sometimes. Got some tins up here. They're pretty fun. A little nutmeg. Red pepper, cinnamon. Larvex. That's interesting. Moth nuggets. <laughs> That's funny. Moth nuggets. Here's some blown glass stuff. So they're wanting like $20 for that fish, 20, 20 for this red vase. What's it called? There's, this is Nouveau. It says Nouveau handcrafted, $10, okay. But that one's really pretty. So I have some blown glass fish, kind of similar to that, that I bought at a yard sale. And I think it paid $4 a piece. And I have them also in my booth for $20 a piece. I don't think I've sold any yet. Now that's pretty. Oh, it's only $6.50? Wait a minute, what's going on with this? It looks old, but I can't be sure. Hmm. Amber glass or something. Oh. I don't see any maker. Hmm. This is known as a bentwood rocker, and the maker of these originally is Michael Thronet from the early, well, the late 1800s or so. But yes, it's this bent wood that's what it's called because it's actually wood that's been bent and twisted and then we have this wicker kind of caning uh, rather on here and usually when you find these chairs the bottoms have been busted through they've been replaced with something else uh, you actually can get replacement caning and redo the chairs but um all in all uh, they've got written here 75 dollars 75 dollars wicker rocking chair so in case you're wondering, this is a really cute buffet. Mid-century has these awesome dishes in here. It's in the Salem Biscayne, very popular pattern. We have some Fire King also in the Biscayne. And this is a fun pattern. This is kind of new to me. What is that called? Color Craft? Yeah, Color Craft Platter. That's really cool. And they got some glasses, some little um, burple. I think that's called burple. And then there's one called Boopy that is different than Burple. <laughs> and the Boopy is slightly different. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, and they got some Melmac. Really pretty. Very nice stuff around here. Lots of lusterware right in here. 
some chalk birdies, some Libby and the silver leaf. These are pretty too. Look at those leaves. Now this is a really cute 1970, well, like mid 60s, early 70s. I love it, very cool. So we have some pottery over here in this corner. Lots of fun things. That's a really, really cute bird. What is this? There's like little holes all in it. What do we got? What is this? It's a cockatoo sachet scent holder. They're calling it $15. So you can stick a scent up there and then it will radiate the smell. That's really cute for $15. Ooh, this recipe box, $18.50. I like that. Very neat. I do pretty good with recipe boxes in my booth. Though I might be underpricing them. Hmm. Very neat. What is this? Um, Hellman Pottery, Seven Falls, $14. Oh, it says it on there. This is a, a souvenir pottery piece. Oh, it's glazed on the inside. Very cool. It's very similar to that other company that did that. Um, I think it starts with an N. I'll write it right here below the video. It starts with an N, I believe. Found a couple Balik pieces over here. We got like a little creamer for $12. And then here's this one I think I'm going to actually buy. It's this half curved seashell thing. And I believe this dates, this mark right here dates to about 1990 or so. 1990, 1990 or 1991 or two. Um, but it's a curved dish $12. I think I will get this one. I think we're about ready to check out too. Do, do, do. Anything over here? Lots of glassware. It's a pretty luster piece in there. It's like, it looks like little cobblestones. Here, let me set my thing down. What's going on? Okay, Royal Bay Ruth hexagon covered dish for 22. That's really pretty. Okay, I think, I think that's it. I think I'm gonna grab my, grab my dish and let's go. All right, so we just pulled up to Ted Drew's frozen custard here in St. Louis. And we're about to go ahead and get in line. This place is always busy, so I'm actually not even sure what. I've been here, I think, one other time whenever I was like 18 or 19, so really curious. But it's frozen custard, so uh, yeah, let's see what they've got. I just can't decide what I want. This lemon crumb looks pretty interesting. I'm not sure what that is. It doesn't really say. It just says lemon crumb, refreshing, refreshing blend of lemon flavor, lemon flavor. Hmm. That doesn't sound very good. I'll have a small turtle sundae. Turtle sundae, I heard. Hmm. Strawberry shortcake. That's always good. I think I'm gonna do Hawaiian delight sundae. Okay, I decided I'm gonna do the lemon crumb after all. Yeah. There it is. That looks really fun. Okay, let's get in the car. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Tastes like lemons. <laughs> How profound. No, actually, it's really good. Mmm. Very refreshing, actually. That lemon didn't know what I was going to, I didn't really know what kind of lemon it was going to be because it said lemon flavor, but ooh, that tastes like, like a lemon meringue, like a lemon meringue pie. Mm. And I went with chocolate, my favorite. He went with chocolate, his favorite. Interesting. That's kind of small. Look at how small that is. I mean, mine's, they call this regular. I'm, I'm regular. And then what was that size? This was the uh, regular size for a shake. Oh boy. Uh, so this was like two, no, this was like three, 
no, this was, how much was this? Do you know? I don't know. It wasn't bad. It was, oh, it was under $5, so not terrible. Okay. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked the day. Um, I went to that antique store. It's very hot. Let me turn the car on. Uh, went to that antique store and it was really fun. Was Got some, some great things. So anyways, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.